All right, so here we go, day two. Uh, end of the day yesterday with uh, 12 total horns, uh, antlers. Eight of them uh, being elk and then uh, four deer horns. Four deer horns. So here we go, day two. Um, got on the map last night, looked at the area we're in real close, saw a lot of elk yesterday, but uh, just still didn't really get into the horn. So we're going to move a little bit to the northwest from where we've been going see what that produces so stay tuned what up so we're uh we're a couple hours in just been busting our butts to get straight out as far as we could down to the sage flat and uh we just hit it on the way found you know this old raggedy elk horn and a couple deer horns but that's it um so anyways yeah just busting butt to get to this flat so we can start hitting around it and uh right here on the edge of it old deadhead Stuck in the tree, it looks like. Poor bastard. Man, I wish I could have found that sooner. Cool bull. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so here we go. Just did that little video that um, old deadhead was stuck in the tree not too long ago back there and uh, just kept up the valley here like we were talking after hitting the edge of it and finally found my first brown of the year. So, and, oh, not too far away is a hard white from, looks like last year, it looks like a hard white. So thank you, thank you, thank you. First brownie of the year. Broke. Cool bull. And then. Thank, thank, thank you for that bull. That shit right there. Hard white for sure. A little acorn action going. So, right on. Hopefully, we get into a little pocket of them here. I was putting everything away too soon. <laughs> I look, look to my left and see the, the tine sticking up through the brush and see, we got another brownie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right there. Heck yeah, brownie number two. Let's see how fresh he is. Uh, in a few days. Okay, hang tight, let's see if, uh, before I put everything away, I'm gonna walk around this here a little more. See if there's anything else I'm missing. So, okay, so just going around this little patch here of sea of uh, sagebrush, where we just found uh, the two browns and uh, the hard white, and I just found just come across this back end, this broke back end. So hopefully you can see it. I just keep walking around here, and we got another shed right here too. I like these little pockets like this. Oh, we got two sheds here. Man, this one's old. Been getting ate alive. Hopefully you can see it. And then the other side over here is pretty much all been ate. Right there. So, oh, there's another shed right there. Holy crap. I got a little little pocket right here in this stage. There's that one right there. Cool. So it's at three, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you, thank you, thank you. I just have to walk around this a little bit more. Drop these shoes this way. Okay, well, heck yeah, that little spot was fun. Just got done strapping everything to the pack. Make it pack heavy in a hurry. We got a lot more country to go. So. Okay, so we just came straight up from that little hole we were in. It was just a little sagebrush valley and then just kind of rolls up this hill just a little bit through these trees and then it breaks out into another sagebrush valley. 
and we just we're coming in out of the trees right here behind me you can see just coming into it and we got a shed so thank you thank you thank you oh man this thing is old <coughs> well hopefully we got from the old old to the hard white to the brown in this little pocket so okay heck yeah we got another brownie so just pick that one up across the thing here and then uh, brown A. It's a good brownie. Right on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where's the other side? You got an oldie. But take it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here we go again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm, hard white. Starting to crack. We'll take it. Alright, so here we are. Me and Tyne just met up at the top of this here draw. Uh, I had a drink and decided on what direction we were going to go. And Looking on the map, we could tell this way was a lot, a lot more sagebrush, so we decided to drop down. He's been on one side of this uh, patch, and I've been on the other. And... Uh, I've found a couple. I've, I've found quite a few horns so far. And then Tyne, I could see Tyne had hit down here on the bottom, just take off a run and do the stage <laughs> rush. And he's got a pretty cool set, so. Let's check it out. Hey. Oh, yeah. Blood. Blood. Where's the brownies? Blood right there. I think I got one up over here. Not a brown, but it, I don't know if it's brown or not, but it's a horn. Older. Heck yeah. Cool set. Big five. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, brother. Well, here goes. Just got the packs loaded up. This is one of the spots we stashed a bunch of our sheds earlier at. And uh, we've hit everything around here we can hit. So it's about 3.30. We're, we're quite a few miles from the truck. And uh, we're pretty heavy. So we're heading out. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all the good luck. Hard work. That's how you come out of country heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. That's what we do it for. Hopefully you can see kind of what I got. Oh yeah. We got ways to go. Okay, so here we go, uh, day three. It's about 11 o'clock. We started off this morning, we hit by camp again with no luck. It was just, I don't know. It, some of that country looks so good, but it just wasn't producing. So we packed up everything this morning and we took off back down to the south. Um, hit some new country on our way out, basically. And uh, hopefully find some more browns. We picked up five browns so far. Yeah. So yesterday, we ended, we ended yesterday 27 miles. I found 17 yesterday. Tyne picked up 13. Um, Tyne picked up the 13 big, big older sheds, but they're all pretty big. Where a lot of mine were broke, but we uh, we we hit it hard and and found that heavy packs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so today we're trying to hopefully get around more water so we can see if we can pick up more browns because they're obviously hitting the ground. So yeah, it's just certain. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. All right, so we're about uh, 30, 45 minutes into uh, this third day hike and we're shooting straight up this hill. We're parked right by a hill that just goes straight up. It's real thick cedar, um, but on top, it looks like it kind of breaks open a little bit. So that's what we're kind of aiming for right now. And uh, I'm almost at the top, I'm about three quarters way up this and uh, we got a set of uh, deer shits. So pretty cool, little set looks like. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it's a freak. Cool four by two. Hard white. Look at that goofy buck. Cool. I like it. The crazy ones are some of the best. So. We'll take them. Alright, so we've been going for quite a while now. Pretty Feeling pretty deflated. Um, after having two great days like we did. And then the last day just be just so hit and miss like it is um, found the two deer sheds early and then went all the way to the end of where I wanted to be hit a bunch of that the signs just not there so we're working our way back towards the truck and uh, pick this up but finally lo and behold we got a shed right over here in the trees so thank you thank you thank you for this broke one oh set heck yeah so thank you, thank you, thank you for that. And thank you, thank you, thank you for that one. Man, they're old. Golly. So. Right on. Finally some weight on the pack. Alright, so here we go to uh Alright, so here we go. End of day three. It's about, I don't know, 3.34 o'clock right in there. Um, it got pretty hot on us today, so we uh, <clears throat> we didn't go as hard or as far as we have the past two days, but we did find a few horns still. I found I found the two deer, the elk set, the deer set, the elk set, and then the dead head. And then... Uh, I got skunked today. Oh, Tyne got skunked today. Um, what was it? We did 19 total miles today. I did 19, you did what, 15? So... So it's just a, that little bit of extra mileage. It's where I found all my horns. But uh, yeah, so what a fun trip. Me and Tyne killed it. We had a ball. Um, total can count in the deadheads. You know, we didn't we didn't pick up any of the deadheads just because everything was so far back. Um, we didn't have room for the extra weight yesterday, and then the one today was so far gone. I'm not even messing with it. But yeah, so if like 50 horns total. Yeah. 50 something horns and here it is so got that browns. set I picked up yesterday back there set of browns I picked up set of browns time picked up that nasty set he found we recorded yesterday's back there awesome couple hard whites we still got stuff taped together <sighs> oh yeah front end on that thing's retarded they go five point. We'll have to score that just for fun because his eight point side's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I got a tine tape to it there. Packing out, but. Cool horn. Heck yeah. Stud horn. Awesome trip. Yeah, yeah. And then, oh, best, uh, best I've done on deer in a while. <laughs> While I'm getting elk, I got. Uh, two, three sets there. Um, two years off one buck. That goofy four, four by two I just picked up, hard white. And then a bunch of broken bull stuff right there. So, yep, fun trip. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, till next time. Till next time. Peace out.